And when we played Ray Charles, we didn't know what we were doing in that movie. That was an independent movie. It went on to get nominated for an Oscar. Then I get a call, and on the other end of the phone says, Hi, Jamie Foxx. So who's this? This is Oprah. Uh-oh. You're blowing it, Jamie Foxx. Oh, really? And I said, well, I'm, I'm sorry what I need to do. So she took me to Quincy Jones's house. The thing that raised some eyebrows with people is when I dropped the information about Quincy Jones. This dude was one of the ones responsible. He had a magazine financed by Warner Brothers and arrested him. He set up six rings in Hollywood. Hollywood, and the reason you don't know these stories is there's no one to tell you these stories. I know all the comedians and actors' secrets. Who's gay? Jamie Foxx. Troubled and equally controversial comedian Cat Williams has in the past targeted actor and fellow comedian Jamie Foxx during a stand-up gig in 2012, alleging that the actor is secretly gay and blasting him for taking a role in the racially charged flick Django Unchained. And now the curly-haired rib cracker is back at it again, blasting the Grammy award-winning singer for sacrificing his life fame. While performing at a show in Los Angeles almost a decade ago, Cat told the crowd that Jamie Foxx is gay. Who's gay? Jamie Foxx, said the comedian. I can even tell you the name of the dude he f asterisk asterisk ked. I know all the comedians and actors' secrets. Who's gay? Jamie Foxx. His name is Marcus Anthony. He's the only dude signed to Jamie Foxx's label. The comedian continued with a tirade against Fox. F Jamie Foxx and the Django Unchained check he cashed, he said, adding, they offered me the script and I said, any and A that does this deserves to die. And the next thing I heard, Jamie Foxx was in makeup. <laughs> His name is Marcus Anthony. He's the only dude signed to Jamie Foxx's label. Check it out. And now the comedian is back again, accusing Fox of trading his soul just to win an Oscar. But to be honest, his journey to the top has been marred with several catastrophic incidents, prompting Cat to believe that he indeed traded his soul. A multi-talented star, Fox got his start in sketch comedy before becoming an Oscar-winning actor. No, ladies always know, uh-uh, girl, don't talk to her, see how. They always know that, but see, I, I, I'm just wanna, you know, apologize, come shake my hand. He began playing the piano at a young age, going on to perform and lead the choir at New Hope Baptist Church in his hometown of Terrell, Texas. As a teenager, he excelled in basketball and football before choosing to study musical and performing arts composition at the United States International University in California. On a dare, Fox gave his first stand-up comedy performance at an open mic night in 1989. Two years later, he joined the cast of In Living Color, a sketch comedy series that also featured Jim Carrey, Kim and Damon Wayans, and David Allen Greer. Carrie Ann Inaba and Jennifer Lopez also performed in the show's Fly Girls Dance Troupe. First thing, but to be honest, but to be honest with you, J Lo is my homie, man. We we started out together on In Living Color. I applaud her. She used to say J Lo was in the audience when Fox auditioned for the Emmy-winning series. It was interesting because we were both rookies on the show. And I remember seeing her and I said to her, hey, I have a girlfriend. I'm not hitting on you, but you're the most beautiful person I've ever seen. He recalled to Yahoo Entertainment in 2020. But we became friends because we were the rookies on the show. Fox remained on In Living Color from season three to season five before landing his own sitcom, The Jamie Foxx Show. He co-created the WB Show, which aired from 1996 to 2001. The, speed, let me say it. The, <laughs> the Just Mercy actor formed a close bond with co-star Garcelle Beauvais on his sitcom, but the pair were never more than friends. I think me and you should have been together, Fox teased during a 2020 appearance on the Going to Bed with Garcelle podcast. So every time I see you with someone, I'm like, damn, I fucked up. So every dude, I give them a really shitai look. <laughs> it's funny because when we worked together, we had made a pact that we weren't going to date uh, because it would be awkward. Bove laughed off the revelation, teasing, I feel it and they feel it. While he and the Bravo star kept their relationship strictly platonic, Fox has been involved in a few A-list romances over the years. He welcomed daughter Corinne in 1994 with ex Connie Klein and daughter Annalise in 2008 with former girlfriend Kristen Granis. The Just Like Me musician has never tied the knot. Sources confirmed in March 2015 that Fox had been dating actress Katie Holmes for two years, and the twosome kept their romance under the radar for six years before calling it quits. And the Oscar goes to... 
Jamie Foxx and Ray. In 2004, Fox won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance in the biographical film Ray, in which he portrayed the legendary musician Ray Charles. He has also been nominated for several other awards for his roles in films such as Django Unchained 2012, Just Mercy 2019, and Soul 2020. Cat somehow thinks all the trials and tribulations the actor has been going through are due to his shady links with the Hollywood elite. Fox got brutally honest during a sit-down at the 2018 Tribeca Film Festival about the awards season he spent campaigning for Ray. The hour-long conversation moderated by genius news anchor Jacques Morel found the Oscar winner looking back at his career in film, music, and television, but the most surprising tidbit came when the actor admitted to being an embarrassment for part of the 2004 to 2005 awards season, in which he eventually won the Academy Award Best Actor. What, what happened was is that I didn't have a click. I didn't have a crew in L.A. and everybody had a click. The Wayans had a crew. It was like 9,000 of them. When I was up for the Oscar, I didn't take it seriously at all, Fox said. I thought there was no way to win that. I took Oscar season as an excuse to party. I was like, oh, I'm nominated. Break out the champagne and let's party. I remember having paparazzi on me for the first time. I remember going absolutely nuts. I went to the Golden Globes and there was champagne involved and I was just wrong on the red carpet. I was disrespectful to the process. Fox remembered attending the Globes with a friend and being nominated for multiple awards that year. On the red carpet, he and his friend were screaming the number of awards they were up for that evening in a way Fox said was extremely immature. The actor said his publicist called him and yelled at him for his behavior, telling the actor, what are you doing? You see how embarrassing this is? You've got a chance, but you got to walk a certain way. The you it on a, and then I get a call. And on the other end of the phone, says, hi, Jamie Foxx. So who's this? This is Oprah. First person to intervene and really get Fox back on track was one celebrated media mogul. The television personality called Fox and told him personally that he was blowing it. She told me, you really have a great chance to do something that is wonderful and the character you played touched so many people, but not if you act like this, Fox said. The media mogul had an idea for an intervention. She invited Fox to a party at Quincy Jones' mansion. Fox said he met several actors and actresses he looked up to as a kid at the party, and they all congratulated him and said they liked his work. But she brought Fox to the party so he could meet one person in particular, Sidney Poitier. Standing in a tuxedo in the corner was Sidney Poitier, Fox said. I walked up to him and he said, I watched your performance and I grew two inches. I leave you with one thing, responsibility. Fox thought to himself after hearing Poitier's wisdom, oh, s t no more after parties. I got to get my shit together. Fox did just that. He ended up taking his daughter to the Oscars and scaled back on partying. He ended up winning the Oscar, a moment to this day he still refers to as life-changing. But since that night, things have turned out for the worst for Fox. Earlier this year, the actor allegedly collapsed and was in hospital for several weeks, literally fighting for his dear life. The Academy Award winner's daughter, Corinne Fox, issued a statement on Instagram on April 12th, revealing that the actor was on the mend after facing a medical complication the day prior. We wanted to share that my father, Jamie Foxx, experienced a medical complication yesterday, shared Corinne in a statement written on behalf of the Foxx family. Luckily, due to quick action and great care, he is already on his way to recovery. We know how beloved he is and appreciate your prayers, the statement read. The family asks for privacy during this time. Fox, who's set to star in the upcoming movie Back in Action, opposite Cameron Diaz, received a plethora of well wishes from fans, friends, and family the moment news of his health complication was made public. Stars, including Kerry Washington and LeBron James, took to social media to post tributes to the actor, penning sweet sentiments and words of encouragement as he heals. Additionally, other celebrities close to him, including Martin Lawrence, shared updates on his recovery. The details of Jamie Foxx's medical complication remain a mystery over four months after the actor was reportedly hospitalized. And this is precisely why Cat Williams thinks those Fox sold his soul to have come to collect. And after several weeks of dilemma, the actor finally broke his silence. Since falling ill, Fox had been keeping a low profile, only posting a few cryptic messages on social media while his daughter, friends, and co-stars gave updates on his situation. But recently, Fox revealed more about what he went through and how he is doing in an Instagram reel. No one really knew what caused the multi-hyphenate to get rushed to the hospital in April, 
but some of his celebrity friends would end up sharing periodic updates. At one point in the drama, when things sounded grim for Jamie Foxx, his daughter provided a timely and questionable update that her dad was out playing pickleball in good spirits. Nick Cannon said Fox gave him his blessing to host his shows as well. Whatever Fox went through, he obviously didn't want anyone to know the full scale of it all. So the question is, could Cat Williams be right? Even his fans are asking questions like this one who tweeted, Jamie Foxx is one of the only outspoken Christians in Hollywood. Out of nowhere, he mysteriously got extremely ill with an unknown illness that hinders the ability to move see. Same thing happened to Kanye West, wake up with another saying, I honestly think Hollywood people were surprised Jamie Foxx is still alive. They couldn't take him out through his health, now they're trying to destroy him like they did Kanye West. Do you also believe there is a chance everyone coming at Jamie is demanding a payback for a favor he got in the past? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.